guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about our science picks for the 2023-2024 homeschool year. Now, if you watched, I guess a few months back, I had a video about how I planned for the next school year and I was having some issues coming up with some science because lo and behold, my son picked chemistry for his ninth grade year. And that kind of scared me because that was probably my weakest subject when I was in public school. I hated chemistry. Uh, it was the one class that I actually made a C in and I absolutely hated it. I actually begged my mom to take me out of public school. This was when I was in 11th grade and I wanted her to homeschool me and she said, absolutely not. And um, I just, I didn't do well making a C. I always had made really good grades and it just about killed me. So when he mentioned he wanted to do chemistry, my heart just sank because I was like, I can't teach him that. Like, I just can't. But after a lot of prayer and consideration, it's gonna be okay. So, if you don't know anything about us, we are a unit study family. So we're going into my son's ninth grade year. We've been doing unit studies since he was in the fifth grade. That is how he learns the best. And we're not about to change that just because we're going into high school. So if you wanna follow our high school journey, doing something a little non-traditional, then definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around because that is our plan. We are going to continue to do unit studies because that's how he learns the best. So let me show you what we're going to use. Now, another thing to know about us is we love gather around homeschool and we love campfire curriculums and that's what you're gonna see the most of on our channel. So we're gonna start with where we're getting our chemistry from. And the first place we're getting it from is gather around homeschool. They do have a chemistry unit that has 20 lessons. So technically it's meant to just last for five weeks because we do four days of school a week. And so this would last five weeks and I knew that's not going to be enough to get him a credit in history. To get a credit, you have to have so many hours. And so I knew this alone wouldn't be enough. But I do know this. The great thing about gather round units and campfire units is you're going to find science throughout those. And when we do science in the other units, just like we finished the Independence Day unit from campfire curriculums, it had a lot of chemistry in it. So I was able to take those chemistry things we did and document those and keep up with the time. And those are gonna be used towards his history credit because our plan is he will earn all the credits he needs over the four years. So we're not gonna do the traditional, you do this science this year and this science the next year. It's gonna be over the four years for all of his subjects. And the way we're gonna keep up with that is using the student tracker from Gather Around Homeschool. I can link um, a video that I did about what's inside the student tracker so you can see if that's something that would help you when it comes to keeping um, all the information you need to keep for high school. So I'll link that down below. But anyway, I knew that just this unit alone wasn't gonna be enough. So I am gonna be looking at the other units and seeing where there's chemistry involved and we'll just document it into there. I do plan on showing you next year, like when we finish this unit, exactly how I've documented the time and the grades. So if you need help with that, maybe those videos will help. So let me see, what do I wanna say? Um, so we're gonna use this. We'll do it just like we would a regular unit. And then throughout the rest of the year or two years or however long it takes us to finish it, we're also going to use chemistry and ecology from Master Books. This is God's design. Now, yes, this is made for like third through eighth grade, but it does not matter to me. That is one thing you're gonna find here. I do not look at age limits and, and you know recommendations. If it's something I think will help explain something to myself or to my son, I do not care what age is on it. And I'm telling you, when it comes to chemistry, I need all the help I can get. I need it to be put in simple terms. Things do not have to be hard. And so I thought this book would help tremendously. We're actually already using this book as like some extra science. We're using the ecology part of it right now. And I like it. The, lesson, the lessons are short and sweet. He has a workbook page to do that he can handle. You know, it's not a big deal. There's a couple of extra experiments. And so we're getting the feel for how this works before we jump into the chemistry part. So this will just be used as a supplement to some of the lessons that are in here. It actually pairs up very well. And then there are days that maybe this is what we can get to. Um, you know, if we have a really busy day, we might can do some lessons out of here. And this can be used all year long, whereas this is just gonna last us 
for five weeks, we can use this all year long to get chemistry. Now, when you go on Gather Round's website, you can use a high school planner where you type in what science you wanna do and what history you wanna do, and they will generate you a list of units to do. But when you type in chemistry, you only get the chemistry unit and Europe. And so we're definitely doing Europe. If you watch my geography picks, we are doing Europe because there are there is some chemistry in that. And then we'll be doing this. And then over the years, we still have all the units for ninth grade and then 10th through 12th. I know that there's going to be enough chemistry in those units that we're going to be perfectly fine. I'm not worried about it. This unit is packed full of so much information. I do have a flip through. You can check that out to see what that looks like. Um, I also have him the high school um, student notebook. I wanted to get this one because the high school one does have one extra page than the other student notebooks. And so I wanted to make sure that I got that for him, but you just have that extra page that the other notebooks do not have the other levels. And so we will work through this. And also with that, I printed um, the experiment book. This is not something that you have to purchase. This is extra, but I don't want to go looking for experiments. I want to do something that goes right along with the unit itself. And so I purchased the PDF of the experiment book. I don't know if I did a flip through of it or not, but it does have like, um, let me, let me show you one here. If I can flip to a beginning page. So hydrophobic hot chocolate. So it'll tell you like the background, the supplies you need, how to set it up, making a hypothesis. <clears throat> Testing your hypothesis, adaptations, explanations, which I love. I hate to find experiments online and not have an explanation as to why that experiment does what it does. So there is an explanation, conclusion, taking it further. And then to go along with that, you could also purchase the observation journal. And so I was excited to get this. There is a level one and a level two of the observation journal. And I went with the level two, obviously. But in this one, you have an observation sheet for every lesson. So you could technically do um, an experiment or lab with every lesson. I know this is not like, I mean, when I think back to my high school, my labs were not exciting. We didn't do anything exciting. I don't remember a thing that I learned in there. So I'm excited to do this. I think this is gonna really catch his attention and I think he's gonna like it. So you have your observation sheet for every lesson where it tells him what to record and draw, control variation one, variation two, there's a place for data. So if you make a graph. And then you have analysis and observation. So what happened and why? And then my, my conclusions, why was your hypothesis correct? So you have that for every one of your experiments. And so I'm excited to do this. I've heard wonderful things about it. I've even seen on the Facebook page, chemistry professors who say that it's a, that it's a wonderful chemistry unit and they are blown away by the experiments in the observation journal. So I'm excited for us to do that. So that's our main thing we're gonna focus on. And then we'll also be using this along with the student workbook. He'll also be getting science throughout all the other units. The thing about Gather Around and Campfire is they include all your subjects. And so he'll be getting other branches of science as well. And I'll just be documenting those into the science category that they fit into. Now to go with the chemistry unit, because I do like to have a few extras, not a ton. We're not one of those families that like decorate or anything. I do want us to read The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. This was on the suggested book list for Gather Round. So I want us to read this. We were, we were gonna read it for this or for Africa, either one. So I think we'll go ahead and read it for chemistry. And then I thought this book would be helpful, The Elements. Um, I love how it shows, you know, like everyday things. Like you don't think about how chemistry is just in, in every everyday things. And so I love how this shows him like real pictures of the element, where you're going to find it, all those kind of things. So hopefully I will be able to give him a chemistry experience that will be better than mine. I think anything would be better than the experience that I had in high school with chemistry. So I'm looking forward to it. I think the unit's going to be fun. 
I think we're going to have a good time with it. Just pray for us that it goes well. If you have any other things you think we should look at, not other curriculum to purchase, I'm, I'm happy with this. But if there are good videos out there or um, good books to read, let me know um, because I'm always looking for, for good things. So make sure you share those down in the comments. But before I go, let me sit this stuff down. Sorry, you get to see my head. Um, before I go, I do want to tell you about something that is so, so exciting. So, June the 1st, mark your calendars. I'm so excited about this. I'm a part of this wonderful community called Made to Homeschool. It's me and a bunch of other homeschool mom creators. We have formed this group and we want you to be a part of it. It is a homeschool group made by homeschool moms for other homeschool families. And we are doing this to help equip you to be the best homeschool family that you can be. When you get into Made to Homeschool, you are gonna find so many resources at your fingertips. There are articles, there are some unit studies, there are some printables. You're going to find workshops that are hosted by these homeschool moms. And what I love about the workshops is when you attend those, they're kind of like a Zoom, not really Zoom, but kind of like a Zoom. You do not have to have your camera on. So if you didn't want to get ready that day, but you want to be a part of that workshop, you just cut your camera off. You can even cut off your microphone. But what I love about the workshops is you can ask questions and get your answers in real time. It's not like when you watch a YouTube video and you have to wait for that creator to respond back to you. You can ask them questions right then and there. And that's what I love about the workshops. There's also an app and on the app, there are chat rooms. Um, or like a, like a thread, like a chat thread, almost like Instagram and Facebook, where you have the topics like littles and middles and high school and working moms, and there's buy sell group. And you can be a part of those chats and you can chat with people in those chat groups. And there's someone there to encourage you, to pray with you, answer your questions. It's amazing. So if you wanna know more about Made to Homeschool, I'm gonna put some information down in the description box along with a link and you can um, go check it out. You can join the wait list still, but it will launch June the 1st and we are so, so excited. I'm there and I want you to join me there. So make sure you check it out. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see some of my other curriculum choices for ninth grade, I have a playlist that I will link down below so you can see everything that we've chosen. If you have any questions about what I've shown today, please leave them down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.